What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different methods on how to remove these lower ball joint rivets. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. This ball joint is riveted in, it's never been replaced before, so I'm gonna show you three different methods on how to remove those rivets. The first one, I'm gonna drill it out with an eight millimeter drill using a drill, electric drill. You could also use an air drill. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and ear protection. I'm gonna start right in the middle. If the um, rivet itself doesn't have a little area where it's indented, then you might wanna use a center punch and punch it so you get a good starting spot. If the drill bit's getting hot, you're gonna to wanna to lubricate the drill bit a little bit. You could also use some grease. I'm just using a little rust penetrant. So at this point, it made it about halfway through. I'm just gonna take a punch and a hammer and just try to See if I can break it the rest of the way. All right, so it seems like I have to drill some more. I'm just gonna move up to a bigger size drill bit. Keeping the drill bit cool. Now I'm going to try the punch again. I'm going to go up another drill bit size. I'll use the, the punch again. Now I'm going to go up a size again. I'm gonna go up a size again. I'm just trying to be able to drill this head off. Just once that head comes off, then the, I'll be able to get that one out. Try the punch again. There we go, finally. All right, we finally got it out. Uh, I just kept stepping up drill bit size. I started with an eight millimeter size and ended up with a 15 30 second bit size. Finally got that off, so that's good. Now I'm gonna move on to the next one. For the next one, I'm gonna use a cutting wheel and cut it off. Now you wanna be careful of not to um, get too close to the lower control arm. We don't, we can scuff it up a little bit, but you don't wanna um, dig into it too deeply. So that's how I'm gonna take this one off. Use my ear protection and safety glasses. So I can see a little ring around the area of it.
Here we go. So it's pretty much all set. Cut the head of that off. I did scuff it up a little bit, but that's okay. It's not gonna cause any damage. You just don't wanna go too deep. And now we're gonna move on to this one. For the next method, I'm gonna use a combination of an air chisel and the cutoff wheel. I'm gonna make an X on the bottom of that rivet, and then I'm gonna air chisel it off. Now I'm gonna use the air chisel. It was that quick. Now I could have tried to air chisel it without making the X with the grinder. It's just guaranteed if I make the X, it comes off real quick. Um, so there's that. Now I can just take a punch and punch them through. There we go. Just watch your fingers when you're doing this. It's all loose. Now I can grab the control arm. This may be difficult. You might need to use a pry bar. Just pry right here. Slide that out. You can take a hammer and just tap on the ball joint. Pry this out. Just watch your fingers. And it comes right out. So there's three different methods on how to take these rivets out for the lower ball joint. Um, I personally like the last method the best. I feel like the drilling method takes way too long. The grinding method, it, it works, but it still takes a long time. The air chisel is my favorite method. So, hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.